Hi buddy, welcome back to our channel. Today we're gonna to be hiking up here in Frisco, Colorado, uh, kind of near Silvery Thorn, um, called the Old Dillon Reservoir Trail. We are up here 9,000 feet um, above sea level. It takes about an hour and a half from DIA, just depending on traffic, depending on what time of uh, day you're going. During the weekends, of course, it's busier. And then driving home, it's gonna be- Yeah, it's gonna be a little worse. Always um, the traffic going on. We got here around, 10 45 11 um and it was 63 so the weather is beautiful great hiking weather i feel like yeah um and like he said we're hiking the old dylan reservoir trail so it's supposed to be a, just a short hike up and then a loop around the little reservoir i guess yeah. and then just back so shouldn't take us too long so here we go so here's the parking lot actually we didn't, for how late we got up here, we found a spot just fine. Um, the early mornings might be a little busier. It's a Sunday. Um, there were, there's constantly people coming and going off the trail. So um, you should be good to find a parking spot. I will say off that main road, it is a very quick turn to get into this parking lot and kind of hard to see. So just be aware of that and go slow as you're approaching. All right, Old Dillon Reservoir Trail. All these little berries that are up here. We got blue, we got the red, we got the lake up in the distance, but not the one we're hiking to. There's a bunch of sailboats out. There are a bunch of sailboats out. It is getting a little windy. There's a storm that's supposed to be moving in. You can see how dark those clouds are. We got a squirrel right there in the tree. Let me see if I can zoom in. Nova is very interested. Look at that guy. Stopping to try and take a couple pictures with the squirrel. Getting with us. But man, it's just gorgeous outside. It's really nice. You can see the trees are kind of blowing a little bit with the wind. We got cloud cover. It's perfect hiking weather. Madeline just made a good point with all the leaves well, on the site. Well, there's a bunch hike. of aspens. Yeah. So during the fall, it's going to be beautiful. Which we're hoping to do several hikes when the leaves are changing to show you guys the, the fall colors here in Colorado. But now yeah, that wind's bad. But look at that. That's just so pretty. Coming up on a post i'm gonna kind of march ahead this way while the while gideon's trailing behind so <clears throat> trail path we think this is part of the loop so we'll follow it this way but it might come back through on this side but we're going to continue on this way for now I'm right back. Oh, look at that. When we, drive, when we were driving up this way, you can see all the like little islands on the lake. It's really cool. On some sand beaches as well. Oh. 
So we went up a little higher. Incredible. You can really Look, see the boats right there. See the bottom? Yeah. Ah, oh, man, that's so cool. All these aspens. It's like I'm walking into something in the middle of the forest. You see the sailboat? All the sailboats over there? Off path. Off path. Here we go. But it still kind of looks like a trail. Ah, oh, this is why. Nice. Nice. And there's the town. You can uh you can hear the highway from up here. Wow. So pretty, breathtaking. Madeline's down there, took that way. I'll end up catching up with her right there. We're gonna walk around this little little lake and Whoa. enjoy the nice weather up here in the mountains today. Wait to mama, bud. Gideon's having fun. Just keep saying whoa. There is up there, you can see on the right of where the um, hole is right there, there's a bench. So you can kind of come up here, sit down, look over the, uh, the little pond, reservoir, and uh, enjoy maybe like a picnic. Today we brought food, but we're going to go eat it in the car because with that storm moving in, hopefully we can still hit some of the shops. And to get perspective of this is Lake Dillon, right? I think so. Yeah, we're pretty sure it's Lake Dillon. You can just see from there all the way through and back there, and you just keep going. There's tons of activities you can do on the lake. There's a marina that you can go to, rent those little sailboats, rent paddle boards, kayaks. They rent out fishing gear. You can bring your own fishing gear. Uh, being on this side of the little pond. It's actually a nice little path. It's all rocks and sand. Um, but really pretty. So we're a little over halfway through. We hiked all the way up and then walked around this little like lake or I don't know if they use it to fill Lake Dillon. Yeah. Um, sorry. Um, it's a little man-made reservoir. <clears throat> I thought it was an easy hike. Yeah. You don't really hike much to get to this point. No. And this is where we are now is our highest elevation because then going back is going to be all downhill. Yeah, we're, we're basically at 250 feet from where we started at 9,000. So it's not it's not a huge elevation gain, uh, but you do gain some. Um, I would say if, if we were ranking hey, hey. the difficulty, I would say probably at Getting two. Getting miles. Right. Because you still have some elevation gain. So that is going to make it a more more difficult hike than if you were two out of two out of ten sorry two out of ten so anyways we are saying that we both want to come back and do this one again in the fall once the colors are changing because there's so many aspen that i bet this trail is just gorgeous in the fall um it's really cool to see lake dillon and how huge that lake is because i i guess i didn't even notice how large it is 
but to see all the boats out there is really cool like there's let me turn it around and see if you can see but there's so many out right now so there's a bunch out right now that's the town it's just cool to watch them So we're going to head back down, but that'll be it for this video. Stay tuned because we are hoping to go walk the town if the weather holds and stuff um, and go down to Lake Dillon and have like lunch down there. So make sure you ring that bell so you get notified when that video posts. Um, and then yeah. I did want to just mention, sorry, we've had quite a break in between our last video and this one. Um, we'll try to be more consistent. We just had some personal things going on that deterred us from being able to go out and do some hikes and stuff but uh please like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one bye hi everyone so we are down by i'm pretty sure this is like Dillon. we are um kind of by the marina like you can see the marina over that way and i'll flip the camera in a minute but um there's this little pull-off area there's quite a few parking spots um so we just backed into one and we're gonna have a little picnic with little man and nova back there and then we'll go explore um, so you can tell the storm is over there um it's supposed to storm a little later on but here's our view from our little picnic and over there is the marina you can see all the little boats out so we just finished our lunch and we made it to Main Street in Frisco. Um, so parking on Main Street is free, but it's a limit for of three hours. Parking on any of these side streets um, is also free from 6 a.m. to 2 a.m. So I'll show you real quick where we park. So that's Main Street right there and we just pulled off on one of these side streets. <laughs> So they have an axe throwing place over there. They have rocket fizz. This is a smoothies and milk shop, milkshake shop. On Main Street Hotel Frisco. That's really cool. Nice little mural. That they have on the fence yeah. to go over there. Gideon's digging that. Yeah. So this is the main building for the Frisco Historical Park and Museum, which we'll show you inside in just a minute. Uh, all these aspens are really cool because they have like crochet things wrapped around them. And then um, this little garden was really cute. Uh, back here are some of the other buildings that go with the museum. And then here is a list of all their summer events. They have a beautiful gazebo here. Um, there wasn't any filming in any of these smaller buildings. Um, but we'll show you a little bit of what's inside this main building right here. was like a little brochure that you could take of the Frisco Historical Park and Museum. So it just shows you there's a little bit about it and then um, 
it has like a brief history of the town and then these are all the little sites that you can visit while you're there so the schoolhouse is where that main building is that has um all the little exhibits in there that we showed you here's a qr code if you want to learn some more about it um it was super fun and we didn't get to walk in all of these so we'll definitely be back to do that but there is no filming in all of these tiny little buildings the schoolhouse didn't have any signage and they seem to be okay with it but everything else has a sign when you walk into the building